And with us, we have Brian Fitzpatrick. Brian, welcome. And can you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me on. Uh, yeah, I've been a writer uh, since uh, maybe about seven or so. I started writing and it evolved into uh, novels and uh, screenplays. I've got uh, two, my second novel's coming out next year, and I have about a dozen screenplays under my belt. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your journey, and we're, we're so proud of your journey, but you've been really engaged. Um, the first time that I remember noticing Brian Fitzpatrick and Metcroft was on one of our Story Rocket Live. Uh, for people that don't know us, this is a professional development series that we do for free. And I remember you getting on there and asking questions and asking questions, just being curious about the whole entertainment industry. Um, tell us everything that you've been able to do in, in this in the last two years just with Story Rocket. Well, the cool thing is, I mean, I've been uh, in and out of the industry trying to trying to make it big in there like the, like you do. And Star Rocket just had something different, something uh, unique. Whereas um, the, the Star Rocket Live uh, gave me a chance to ask directly to a two-time Emmy award-winning producer and as well as an 18-time award-winning author. And that's just the, the, the hosts. I mean, you guys have guests on that are industry powerhouses. And they're just right there and they will, instead of being like these monster chat rooms uh, where with a thousand people asking questions, you got to hope your question gets it. No, with these Store Rocket Lives, it, it's, a, it's a, a nice intimate group and you ask your question and it, it will get answered. And you will learn, you learn something every time you do it. Every time you go on, you will learn something. And so I, I figure out the most, you know, the more I put in it, the more I get out of it. So I just dove in and started asking a lot of questions. <laughs> So we saw you change up your log line after we did Story Rocket Live on log lines and really getting a log line that sells. We saw you change your pitch package a little bit. We saw you hone in on your character descriptions. We saw you um, create testimonial videos. Uh, I mean, you've literally taken this to the 10th degree and we're seeing now the fruits of your labor. So um, talk to us a little bit about what's going on. I know it's high level, it's not all out yet, but um, tell us a little bit about the exciting news that's going on with one of your stories on Story Rocket. Yes, I've got two, right now I've got two projects posted on Story Rocket. Uh, Metcraft is my sci-fi thriller novel series that is, uh, that I, this year, I, as I finished the second book, I got signed by a publisher uh, to publish, they wanna publish both books. They wanna re-release Metcraft and now they're gonna also release Metcraft Disruption on May 4th, 2021. Um, a lot of that vi was due to the visibility on my Story Rocket page. Uh, also, my other thing is a, a, a sci-fi horror screenplay called The Dark Below. And I can't really talk too much about it at this time, but it is, I can say it is in development phase uh, we do have a team put together and we're working on the financing right now with a goal of shooting. So, um, like I said, I can't say a whole lot, but it was directly as a result of the pitch package on Story Rocket. I connected with this producer online and they were acquaintances already, but they were looking for a specific kind of story. And I said, well, I've got something like that. And this, I sent them over to the Story Rocket page and I figured, oh, I'll hear from them again in a couple of days. No, later that night, she got back to me and said, I want you to read this right now. And so she downloaded it off the Star Rocket page. And the next day she was all on board and it, the rest is gonna be history. I, hopefully, but I'll be able to talk about it much more in the coming weeks. Well, I hope I've, I'm invited to that premiere next year. Of course. Year. <laughs> Of course. When, when you look at the Brian Fitzpatrick of two years ago, who said, ooh, this catches my attention out of everything that else that you saw, yeah. what would you tell people who are sitting today on the fence? Oh, easily. I, I do this all the time. Um, peop, you know, there's a lot of less than scrupulous uh, sites out there. I want to tell you that Store Rocket was the real deal. I was so impressed and it's one of the things where you take it seriously. You, you take your pitch package seriously. You get on board and the more you put in, the more you get out. You, you, know, you hone your log line, you get the synopsis right. You get the photo option so you can put the actors you have in mind on there. Um, all, all this technical stuff like your, your copyright information, 
um, what, what your intended medium is, everything is on there. And I would say to another person just thinking about it on the fence, give it a shot because you will be impressed. Thank you so much, Brian. Absolutely. Uh, I really love having this time with you and being able to showcase your work and all the hard work that you've done for this past two years. Um, I don't know if you want to leave anybody with a, uh, an, another thought. Well, first I want to say thank you for connecting with me and reaching out for this. I always appreciate it. And I also love talking about Story Rock and I talk about it all the time. You'll see it on my Facebook posts. I am sharing it all the time. Um, for anybody out there, I would just say, just check it out because it, it, it couldn't be easier and producers and agents really do come here and they really do take a look.